blade and I'm going to put an attachment over the 30 blade. This is a wall number four attachment. I like this best for bodies on a clipped Airedale. I don't like the super short look. It ruins the coat really fast and it doesn't look natural and you want them to look like they're hand stripped so you want them to look natural. Um, I always start up behind the head. You basically come down to where the base of the bottom of the ear on the body. Got some thick hair. I'm following with the direction the hair grows. I'm not worrying about doing any corrective grooming or anything. He's a pet, so I'm just clipping off the pattern. Everything off the tail with the same blade on the body. I'll scissor the tip up once I start cleaning everything up with scissors. Stand. When you come off the shoulder, you just blend off into the leg. So I'm on the shoulder, and then I get to the leg, and I just blend off. You don't want to go into the, into the leg here, but you want that from the front to be a straight parallel line. So I'm just blending off of the shoulder into that leg. You come around to the rib cage. You want to keep with the direction the hair flows. So you've got to kind of change your clipper to the way that the hair grows. It grows down on the rib cage, and I'm going to blend off the rib cage. Ariels do not have a skirt or a cocker pattern. They have an underline, and that's it. So there's just a little bit of hair underneath of there to give them depth of chest. Not every dog needs much hair under there. Some dogs have a really deep chest and they need very little hair under there. Clean up the back of the elbow a little bit. Just, just blending. I'm not going right down to the skin. For the underline, what I like to do to start the underline is I just go in reverse. Really short and tight up here against the, the loin and then gradually blend off. Stay. Oh, it's nice. Should be short and tight here, and then gradually blend off. Might take some practice if you're not used to handling a clipper to get that, but it saves scissor time and it gets the job done. For the back leg, it's a schnauzer type of a leg pattern. So you're basically just blending off the thigh. He is missing a bunch of hair. All this is missing. He's either chewed it or rubbed it off. You can see there's chunks of it, so we're just going to have to work with what he's got. But um, you're just blending off into the blending off into the front of the thigh. So I'm just grazing. I'm going up on the skin here, and then I'm just blending off. I'm not going all the way down to the skin here because we want that here. On that, on that part. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. To so about the bottom of the base of the ear, I'm going to take all this off with the body blade. Same thing, blending off into the leg here. And this leg's pretty chewed up too, so it is what it is. So this is a pattern you want to follow. You just blend off into the leg here, off that shoulder. You want a, per a parallel line from that shoulder to his toe. Again, you want to make sure that you're going with the grain, with the way the hair grows, with the direction which changes all over the dog's body, so you have to be aware of 
how the hair is growing. Again, blend off into the underline. You don't want to take out your tuck up hair. Your dog's going to look like a freight train long, so you want to leave that hair there. It's all part of the leg hair. And again, I'm blending off. Off the thigh, I'm just blending with my clipper. If you feel more comfortable doing it with shears or thinners, do it with shears or thinners. I find it's quicker and easier with my clipper to just blend off that thigh. Underline again, I go in reverse. I start right up against the skin and then I blend and just graze. You stand back and kind of watch what you have going on to get that line going. I pause it a minute. Okay. Now I'm going to use a 7F blade. Any brand, doesn't matter. 7F blade for the flat work areas. So inside this cowlick underneath is the tail. You can see the cowlick line running. Stand. Stand. The cowlick line that runs. So all this I'm going to take off with a 7. I'm not going to worry about going with the direction the hair flows here because I want it to be short. Stand up. I'm also going to blend off the hack, just above the hack. I'm going to 7F the underside of the tail as well. Helps shorten the dog that's longer. It's something simple you can do even on a pet. Just a take a seven blade on the underside of the tail. Again here, inside the cowlicks. Take it off with a seven. Down, graze off the hock. On the front, Seven blade. We'll do this on the head too, but I'm just going to start on his throat just for a point of reference. So all that that you left longer here where those cowlicks are, right behind the base of the ear, you're going to seven blade. You can go back and blend that in with thinners later where the two meet. Or you can do it with your clipper. If you're good with a clipper, you can pretty well blend it with a clipper. But the chest, they don't have a chest. They don't have a bunch of hair on their chest. You basically, while they're standing, you take your seven blade and you take off everything that sticks out. You're basically just grazing right down. Stand up. Stand. Stay. Good boy. You take off everything that sticks out on the chest. There should not be any hair sticking out in the front. When you look at them from the side, their chest should be flat with no hair sticking off of it. If you don't want to cut into the front leg, because that should be a parallel line from this front leg to the tip of the toe. So you don't want to take all that off. So you have to graze there, but this stuff needs to go. No bushy stuff on the chest. We're coming close to the time to see. Okay, that's pretty much it for the body. We'll do another one of the, the legs and the head.